All right, welcome to the channel. We're back with more RL craft, and as you can see, I cleaned up the hobble a little bit. I pushed the walls back. I found a uh, granite and diorite deposit behind this wall. So I decided to mine all of it out, and I turned uh, the granite into these polished granite to make a border, and some of the smooth stone, I turned it into bricks. Uh, smooth stone you get by putting cobblestone and in the furnace. Uh, I made these uh, uh, bricks and I outlined it a little bit to make it look prettier plus patched some holes with more smooth stone and then this up here is polished diorite which I think is pretty cool. Also the floor if you put smooth stone three, three next to each other it makes slabs. I like these because they're a little bit brighter and you get twice as many so that's that. And uh, the doorway I decided to make diorite to change it up a little bit. It's a little bit of an accent. Plus, you can't chop wood on uh, on these slabs, I found out. So I can come over here and I can use this area to chop my wood indoors. Uh, Ross Bob is over here. He's got his uh, chain mail on. I decided to go and make chain mail for the other two as well, because I would be devastated if something happened to my doggos. To the Wolf Brigade, it is nighttime outside. I used a bucket, I made a bucket, and I made an infinite water source here. One, I ran out, bucket here, ran out, bucket here, and it, in the middle it makes the infinite water source. And uh, the what's really cool is outside, the wheat finally started to grow. And I found out that it's a seasonal thing. The game has a mod that activates seasons. So in some seasons, uh, wheat will not grow. That's what I found out. Uh, so it's dark outside, so let me sleep real quick. And let's right click our dogs. Get them up and running. And let's go outside. I'll let all of them come out. As you can see, I cleared a lot of trees uh, in between episodes. Uh, also, I cleaned out the ups outside of the outside of the building as well, accenting a little bit. I'm still not really happy with it. I made glass so that I could see outside. That's why uh, it was a lot easier for me to see the, uh, what's it called, the that it's night outside. And uh, one thing I did, I was goofing around. These little fish things, I thought they were scary at first. I now found out that they are passive mobs and killing them will get me experience and also this yummy delicious fish but we have to watch out because killing some of these mobs uh, might summon an angry spirit but since we have the our doggos here it should be fine there we go we got some experience so that's what's great about this area is it will continue to spawn squid and these fish that also drop uh, lapis. What's that? That's something new. Cool. So one thing I need is a ranged weapon. So I'm going to work with the mod which is Spartan Weaponry. Also I put bookmarks up. If you look something up and you highlight it and you hit the letter A, it puts it up here as a bookmark so you can check it again later. So I'll organize my episodes by bookmarks. I wanted to make this boomerang because uh, I was interested in throwing weapons. See it deals uh, six damage if thrown, but I'm pretty sure you throw it and it's gone. So I wanted to check out this boomerang. So let's see, though I might make the building a little bit longer so that I can come in and guarantee that the dogs come in with me. Is the only thing that I, I worry about is I don't want to close the door and leave the dogs outside. <laughs> Boomerang. We need one rock and we need four uh, planks. One, two, three, four. And that, <laughs> did y'all see? What are you doing up there? That's probably Ross Bob. He's probably the sassy one up there. <laughs> and let's make this boomerang. I'm curious to see if it'll come back. Oh, 
Aqua Pulse Charge. Used to throw a ball of mystic water or fire from a dispenser. Okay, cool. Raw Squid. Ink Sacks can be used as, uh, as a black dye substitute. We got six fish meat and ten lapis from those fish. Let me add those here to the random pile. Uh, as you can see, I'm also cooking fish because when you pull them out, you get experience from cooking. So you get experience from cooking, you get experience from harvesting crops, and you get experience from crafting. So I also made more charcoal because I used a lot of the charcoal to, uh, to smelt all of the granite and diorite and smooth stone. So let's go. We have more charcoal and we have food. Food doesn't look like a problem. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. It rained. So now my rain collector is full of water. I ended up drinking a little bit of uh, from the canteen, which I can show you guys. Now that I'm thirsty, I can drink some purified water from the canteen, perfect. And I can actually right click this. Yeah, not shift right click, just right click it and it fills up my canteen with purified water. How cool is that? But I'm trying to be minimalist on how much stuff I carry in my inventory right now. And then to remove the, uh, the uh, what's it called? To remove the bookmark, you just hit the letter A when you're hovering over it. So let's see, boomerang. Oh, you gotta right click to hold it. And it deals damage. It better not deal damage when I catch it. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. Did it change? Let me see. Does it change locations on my hotbar? It actually leaves my inventory. And I hope it's not actually dealing damage to me. It just I think it might just be a graphical error. So let me try one more thing. If I throw it and move, it does still come to me. Okay, <laughs> that's one thing that I thought would be kind of cheese. So now I have a ranged weapon. Uh, so I shouldn't have any problems with uh, those cheesy, what's it called? Those cheesy uh, phantoms that bother me all the time. All right, we'll do this and we'll spread the love. Have two of them grow. Also, when it rained, it uh, made my torches go out. That, I thought that was actually pretty cool. So let's see, I wanted to also, I was looking into stone javelins because there's six damage, but I'm pretty sure if I throw the javelin, it, it I'll lose it. So let's check and see, we need a pole. And to make poles, we need sticks and we need wool. Luckily for us, we have plant fiber. Uh, let me, okay, yeah, it's plant fiber first. And then wool, okay. And sticks. And let's do this. Make some poles. And oh yeah, I forgot it retains its inventory. And four cobblestone. And let's see, javelins, please. Cool. They do not stack. That's one thing I also wanted to check. I wanted to see, do they stack, which they do not. But we did get an advancement. That's kind of cool. These will deal more damage. Let me see. Can I hit this butterfly? Huh. No. Ah, you got to hold it back. Okay. Oh, it's got an arc on it. Can I pick them back up? Yes. Okay, so you can pick them back up, but I'm pretty sure if I hit something with it, it'll it'll deal damage. And then it won't count. Huh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Best throw ever. Yes. <laughs> yes 
Okay, so that, yeah, hitting something deals durability damage. Let me see. I know wisps are passive. Nope. Higher. Oh, they're throwing ball to each other. Got him. So you can't throw the boomerang until it comes back. Oh, they're just they're just going. Nope. Okay, they're just gonna go play up there, I guess. Let me go pick this up. I think it Okay, cool. So javelins, don't you don't need to shift click them to pick them back up. My HP is still fine. I think it's just it it thinks I'm being hit, so it's showing blood. So you don't need to shift to pick up the javelin. Uh, when you walk near it, it auto picks it up. But uh, it does add it to your next nearest slot. So, and you do have to hold down right click to throw it. So, it's cool. I like it. I'm gonna put two of them away real quick though, or maybe. I'll put this away, definitely, and my, my tool here. So we got throwing. Uh, yeah, I also wanted to make a shield. Definitely need a shield. Uh, you can right-click to hold it in front of me so that, uh, like, when skeletons shoot arrows, it'll bounce off the shield instead of one-shotting me, hopefully. So we need planks and we need sticks. Planks and sticks. I will make this shield first, and then we need four stones, so we can make the stone shield, and then I will put that in my offhand. So now when I, oh, okay, so yeah, you can still throw, but you can't use the shield for, like, purpose-wise. If I have an axe out, I can mine with left and I can hold the shield up with right yeah and you can you can crawl slowly forward with right click and it holds the shield in front of you so you can block like a skeleton that wants to shoot at you it'll bounce off the shield and then you can swing with your weapon it's getting dark so let me sleep let me bring the dogs inside and sleep before I do something silly okay dogs are inside and let's sleep. Cool, so we got the advancement for the boomerang. It does come back. And for Olympian. <laughs> That's so cool. We got our shield. The weapon that I wanted to work on is the stone saber. So for that we need a handle. So we need another wool. Or wait, we can use one string. Did I have anything? No, I had plant fiber so let's use the rest of the flint knife and get some plant fibers real quick uh, our dogs just love climbing stuff You're silly dog so now doggos can come with me and uh, if I come into any I think he'll teleport to me the third one if anything aggro's me the dogs will defend me so let's see if we can find some plant fibers Mainly that, that grass elemental. If it decides to attack me, then uh, the doggos will protect me. Plus I got a neat boomerang I want to test out. We can get some experience from, uh, from killing some mobs. Oh, I'm level 6. If you're level 5, you can hit L. And you can choose which one of these three, three things you want extra damage from. Or, I'm sorry, extra experience from. Mining crafting or combat so hmm what do I do the most I kind of avoid monsters really I don't know if killing passive mobs counts as combat but uh, mining is from ore only if it was ore, if it was all like crafting or no I'm sorry harvesting like crops as well and not just ore, I'd probably go for that so let's go with combat extra XP from combat and stone saber let's see how much do we need for an iron saber 
Iron Saber is attack 5-5. Five five. It's just 0.5 more. No. I definitely want more defense. And I definitely need more gathering. See, like, I need everything. <laughs> what was it? Uh, one stick, because I only need one handle. So, one stick, one string, one handle, and then three cobblestone will make me my trusty weapon, my saber. Awesome. So the reason why I went with the saber instead of the halberd is because the halberd has the halberd has more damage, but it has two-handed. So anytime in the opposite hand slot slows down anything, in the opposite hand slot slows down attack speed. That means if I'm using the shield, it's it's slower. Uh, it has reach. It has shield break. It's really cool. It has nine attack damage. DPS is is the bomb on this. To tell you the truth, I like it a lot. It's slower if I have the shield, but. The reason why I'm going for the Stone Saber is it has damage absorption. 25% of damage taken is dealt in durability to this weapon. So it's 25% damage reduction, probably because it has a guard over the, uh, the, 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 what's it called? The hilt. So maybe that. Plus chest damage bonus. 100% of damage, 100% extra damage when a foe has no chest armor. And I keep running into zombies and skeletons and stuff that do not are not wearing chest armor so what i'm going to do is it if it's 100 percent extra damage that means it's 10 attack damage when i'm hitting zombies and skeletons plus i can hold my shield up you know so i'm gonna go with that boomerang dude Oh, for two. Boomerang. It gets stuck in water. <laughs> Do you have chest armor? Nope, you don't. Okay, so also we learned the boomerang does not come back if it hits water. I'll put that up. I have no gear on. I'll put my shield up. As you notice, I'm putting everything away. And I will bring the dogs in so that they're safe. And one, two, three. You can stay up there if you want to. As long as you don't die of suffocation or something equally terrible. What I'm going to do, and this is uh, to make sure that this island stays safe, I am terrified that the dragon will light everything on fire. That's why I didn't build anything out of wood. I'm terrified that the dragon will light all of the dogs on fire. So I know it'll probably peeve a lot of people, but I'm going to use these stone javelins and I'm going to shoot that dragon out of the sky. It might take me a very long time, uh, so I'll do my best at throwing well, but this is going to be me forcing this dragon to die today because I want this island to be safe. So it is nighttime. Let me sleep and let me leave with my javelins. And let's see if I can take this dragon out. I have no gear, no nothing that I can lose. Experience is low, so that doesn't matter. Can I waste my experience on something on mining maybe? Yeah. Experience doesn't matter. I have my javelin. Let's see if I can kill this dragon. I hear him. There's a weird crazy animal over there. I wonder how far the javelin will fly. If it's infinite range, there's the dragon.
Come on, buddy. Probably because he doesn't see me yet. Oh. All right. I have infinite lives, therefore, this is a battle of of wills. Oh no, they drop far. Can I even reach? <laughs> that was pathetic. That was pathetic. Javelin, I didn't think. It's not infinite range. Javelin is not infinite range. That is unfortunate. But it makes sense. This is real life. You cannot throw a javelin and kill a dragon in real life. Next try. Piercing piercing arrow. Three flint. I wonder if that'll deal more damage to a dragon. So we need flint. Let's see if I can do this. Let me grab my gravel. Let me grab my shovel. I have a shovel, right? Nope. Two. And one. <laughs> Twitch chat thinks that that was the most depressing fight ever. All right, let's see if this works. Yeah. So I put my gravel in my off hand and my shovel in my main hand, and I'm holding down right click and left click at the same time. This way I can get flint faster. So we got flint. The thing that we're missing is going to be uh, the feathers, which we'll have to get from chickens and stuff. Let's see. Let's start this journey off right and sleep so we can get a start on the new day. Also two of these guys. And spread the love. And sleep. And instead of making something on the fly, let's make a boat. The weird noise. Come on, doggos. We're going to go explore. that? Did I already find something? Let's go and see if there's something along the way. There's a sunken boat. Oh, we already have Maka. 
And we have a skeleton with a trumpet. Don't know how much damage this guy can deal. I can swing while in the boat. Gotcha, boy. Thank you, experience. We have a maka here. That's pretty cool. Rank one maka. They're pretty much glorified cows. All right, and the dogs, they teleport to me, right? Or do they not travel in the boats? Anyways, we need to kill some of these cows so we can get leather. My dogs are not teleporting to me. That worries me, of course. See, we got some maca over here. They're pretty much cows, so we don't have to worry about them aggroing any. If you attack the alpha, you'll have a problem, though. Get back here. Really? Thank you. Oh, this is a nice haul of iron. Let's get this. Oh, I don't have mining for. All right, mining four. Okay. Awesome. Whoops. So that means that I'm only going to be able to use the dogs. That's a mob. Let me run. I'm only going to be use, able to use the dogs on my island. That's unfortunate. Let's see, what is this? This is a maca. Gotcha. The hunt for leather and experience. Believe it or not, this is the first time, first mod pack that I've had uh, tamed dogs. I usually avoid that stuff. There we go, we got another deposit of iron. We need this stuff. And it's a lot easier to find iron above ground, I've noticed, than to go branch mining. They're stuck. We're getting a good amount of maca meat as well. They'll be able to give us uh, some food buffs. The one thing that's bothering me is uh, I don't like leaving the dogs out. I don't know if they're in the middle of the ocean or if they're on shoreline, but I want them to be safe. So I'm going to go back real quick, make sure that they're okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you can hit the like button in the bottom right and go ahead and click on my guy here to subscribe to the channel, that would help us out a lot. Also, if you want to watch me stream on Twitch, I stream Monday through Friday uh, from 4 to 5 p.m. Central. So I'll see you then.